What's going on guys? Today I bring you what's known of Destiny 2's Red with a little bit of new information that's not long dropped. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video at the end, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Okay, so what's known about Raid so far? Not much I can tell you that. Raids are sacred to Bungie and they really have done a great job on keeping hush about it. Now we do know and I can confirm that the 5th Destiny Raid will be in the base game of Destiny 2 but I do believe it will not be accessible until they give us the go ahead. Normally they allow us to hit a level suitable to play the raid and I'm guessing that will be the case with Destiny 2. Now the way the game has gone I will say it will probably be 2 weeks after the game releases that we will get access to the raid but please don't quote me on that. Now I'm quoting Game Rant here, according to Luke Smith, game director on Destiny 2, Fans should expect a comparable release time frame as they saw with the raids in Destiny 1. In case there was any doubt, Smith confirmed that the first raid will be included in the base game and will be available during the launch period. While Bungie isn't quite ready to announce a firm date yet, but promises to do so later this summer, Smith said that the raid will have a very similar release date as with the King's Fall and the Wrath of the Machine. Smith said the time between the game's launch on September 6th and the date the raid goes live will allow players to be powerful and equipped enough to deal with the challenges contained within the raid. For reference, both King's Fall and Wrath of the Machine launched just three days after their accompanying expansions released. To compare, Destiny's first raid, the Vault Glass, went live an entire week after the launch of Vanilla Destiny. So it's probably safe to assume that the raid will launch within three days to seven days after Destiny 2's launch on September 6th. And like I said at the start of the video, it will be within the two weeks, in my opinion it will anyway. Now the only difference is that Destiny 2 launches on a Wednesday instead of a Tuesday. So three days would land on a Saturday, not a Friday, as was the case with the King's Fall and Wrath of the Machine. It's very likely that Bungie is still trying to decide when exactly is the best time to launch the raid. And considering that the raid is an activity that the developer will initiate manually, Bungie could change it to whatever date it feels necessary. Now me guessing here, I would say that the raid will be the cap to the main story of the game, no doubt in us facing off against Dominus Ghoul, the leader of the Red Legion. Now where the raid will be set is unknown, but it has been speculated to take part in a few different places and at the moment I would be guessing to put a name on where I think it takes place. We did get a little snippet of the raid from the trailers we have seen so far and it's literally a few seconds if that. And it doesn't really show much and to be honest it could be anywhere. I will say though the steps leading down to where these guardians are heading looks very reminiscent to the steps we see in the tower. Maybe the raid or some part of the raid takes place in the tower where we eventually reclaim it. Quoting PC Games here, Destiny 2's game director Luke Smith dropped some cheeky teases about a new raid setting at E3 2017. He was speaking to Mashable about the themes of each of the original raids. The Vault Glass has this property where it spreads players out and brings them back together. While Crotus End is all about individual hero moments, King's Fall is about traversing space and the Wrath of the Machine's heartbeat was about moments of glorious combat. The new raid when we looked at it, it was about building a place you believe is real. That was our priority. A place you believe could exist. He says giggling like a man sitting on a good secret. It's unlike anything we've done. The team is incredibly talented. It's a joy to see them work. Again Luke Smith talking too Mashable. Luke Smith has now teased the slightest bit of info on the elusive raid. Referring to the central theme of each pursuit as a heartbeat, Smith played an integral part in developing the original game's Vault Glass raid back in 2014 and says this of the incoming shooters first. Raid 5 when we looked at it, it was about building a place you believe is real. That was our priority. It's a place you believe could exist. It's unlike anything we've done. Speaking to the original games of Wrath of the Machine, Smith tells Mashable he found himself repeating one question to himself. Where are the moments of glorious combat? To this end, he adds, moments of glorious combat became the heartbeat of that raid and I think it's a great action game raid. I love the Wrath of the Machine. Unfortunately, that's the only info we do know so far about the upcoming raid within Destiny 2, what Luke Smith has said in numerous interviews. But like I said at the start of the video, the raids are Bungie's most sacred feature and they don't normally spill the beans until near release date or just before. 
we can speculate which is fun and if you'd like to let me know what you think let me know down below in that comment section me personally i feel the vault of glass was the best raid for destiny 1 but i do agree on what luke smith says about the raffler machine not just for the challenges it offers but i also love the amount of secrets the raid holds now we all like different things each raid offers that's the good thing about them but for me it's exploring a new side of the game which i love most the Vault of Glass was like a whole new big arena full of secrets, many secrets people didn't find until over a year later. It's this kind of thing I love. The latest raid, the Wrath of the Machine, still holds a few secrets people are not sure about and have kind of forgotten. For instance, Randall the Vandal and a few other things this raid still holds. And the work in adding the Outbreak Prime and discovering the secrets in finding it and unlocking it was some of the best times I've ever had playing Destiny. I hope Bungie learns from most of all Vault Glass and Wrath of the Machine and comes up with something spectacular within Destiny 2 which is what I believe they will do. On another note though, I do hope Bungie delivers with this raid in Destiny 2 as for me it seems as though the game is becoming more and more of a PvP game but saying that it doesn't help that the matter of most things we've seen so far for the game are PvP gameplays or PvP footage. Hopefully when we get some new PvE footage, opinions change for the good. And on that note people, I am ending the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is much appreciated. Thanks for stopping by as always and I will see you on that next one. Always in the